former Jehovah's Witnesses protest outside convention in reading. One moment, Martin Hawes' daughter, four, was at his side, the next moment, she no longer was there. I looked down and my daughter was gone, he said of that day in 2005. It took just a few minutes for Ha to find her behind a large potted plant in the lobby of the Jehovah's Witnesses' Kingdom Hall in Red Lion, York County. He said those few minutes were enough for a pedophile to abuse the girl. Ha, 41, and his wife, Jennifer, 43, were among a group of former Jehovah's Witnesses who gathered Sunday outside the Santander Arena. They were protesting during the fifth and final Sunday of the regional convention in reading that drew a total of about 26,000 from 218 congregations in Pennsylvania and Maryland over five weekends. They and other activists contend the denomination is silencing victims. The Hawes, who grew up in the faith and felt safe in the Kingdom Hall where Martin Haw served as a deacon and, later, an elder, now say they feel betrayed. They left the denomination in 2016 after learning of what activists call a widespread cover-up of abuse and relocated to the Harrisburg area. A media spokesman for the conventions and reading did not respond to an email request for comment about the protests. According to the denomination's website, Jehovah's Witnesses follow the Bible's advice not to respond to all accusations and instances of ridicule. We respond to sincere people who are interested in finding out the truth, but we avoid getting into pointless arguments. We thus follow the teachings and examples of Jesus and the early Christians, a statement on the website says. Hall was handing out assignments for the religion's door-to-door -door campaign, called Pioneering, that Wednesday in 2005 when he noticed his daughter was missing. When he found her minutes later, she was with a teenage boy. He had both hands up my four-year-old girl's dress, the father said. Ha took the girl home and said nothing about the incident. I thought I might have made a mistake and didn't want to jump to conclusions, he said. I didn't think it would happen again. He was wrong. The next time she went missing, Ha found her behind a locked door, sitting on the lap of her abuser, who had his hands in her underwear, the father said. This time, Hall went to the church elders and told them everything. They said they would handle it, he said. They did not. They told me not to call the police, so I did not. It took a third time before the elders took action, he said. They did punish him, Hall said of the teen, but I was viewed as the bad guy for making a scene. Activists say the family's experience is typical of what they call a conspiracy of silence in the denomination's hierarchy.